Hi guys, this is Ramnik uh, and I work for Gralo which is an event transport organization. Um, very much like the ways did, I also made a rough sketch of the boarding pass. So I assume all of you know what a boarding pass looks like in its current form. So just to reiterate the memory of that in your mind, this is what it is. And the main problem is that, as Sunit said, we have a couple of main consumers for a boarding pass. That is the passenger who is traveling himself and the people on the ground, uh, be it your security staff or people who are actually letting you in on the plane. So thanks to the Animus guys and the dot books, uh, I've done a rough sketch, which I've also tweeted on Twitter. It's going to be a bit difficult to show here, but uh, anyway, this is the point. On the left side, um, yeah, you have your, the main information I want to highlight is again the flight number, the from and to, and the three key points like Pervez did with the seat number, gate, as well as the time. Um, there is secondary information towards the bottom, which is your flight date. Hopefully, you get your pass on the same day that you're flying, so you know when your flight date is. And, uh, yeah, departure time. And on the right side, it's pretty much the same information, and there are QR codes on both sides. Uh, this is not that well structured, but then again, it's easy for ground staff to get used to this pattern since they'll be dealing with a lot of body parts. <laughs> That's it. Thanks a lot.